Hi and welcome to Wappler Unwrapped. Here we provide training for the app development product Wappler. We look at training at different levels from basic to professional. This is lesson one of the basic course. We will be training to a target application, a student accommodation finder service, and as you progress through the modules we will build the application. Having said that, each module stands alone to teach a specific concept or group of concepts in Wappler. So let's get started. Here we have a Wappler open in front of me and the first thing we're going to do is look at making a database connection. We say right from the start that the first modules that we're producing will form part of the administration section of the website. So I'm immediately going to create a app connect, a ser sorry, server connect connection. I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call that admin and within this folder we're going to keep all of the admin functions for this website. Inside admin we're going to add an action file and this action is going to be to list all the universities in the UK. So we're going to call that all unis. Right so we've got the basic files open what are we going to do with them now and the first thing we've got to do is actually create a connection to our MySQL database because in this video we'll be using the MySQL PHP model. So we're going to go to steps I'm going to go to database actions and the first thing is to add a database connection. I'm going to call that um, local I am actually working on a local network here, isolated from the internet, um, and we'll be working on IP addresses. So connection settings, our database type is MySQL, server address is not actually localhost in this case, it is 192.168.1 stroke 106, purely because I'm, we have separate database service to web service. Port 3306. The database that we'll be using is called training. Our username I have set temporarily to just temp and temp. Obviously I'll be changing that as soon as we finish this demo um, because you've now got the, the details. However, for the moment that's what we'll be using. Now I want you to look and see what happens when we hit test connection. First of all it should tell us that we've got a connection is okay. And now we're going to hit save. And when we save, you'll see a, a message flash up briefly saying uh, querying database. And what happens is when we are connect to that database, Wappler will take a snapshot of the entire database structure. That is every table, every view, each field within those tables and the data types of, of each field as well. So once we start creating our pages, Wappler knows exactly what database we're dealing with and exactly what the structure is. So there we are, we're connected to the database and now we're ready to start with the database query. So let's go back into database actions and we're going to add just a very simple database query and then we're going to display the details of that query within a bootstrap 4 table. So we're going to add the database query. It'll ask if you want the linked action file that we saved. Yes, we do. That's basically saved those connection details to the server. And just have to do that again because of the save. And we're going to call this all unis. Hit our query builder. Now Wappler already knows the structure of that. And we're going to be using the university table. I'm not going to use all of the fields within the uh, form that we're creating. Let's just have the ID, the university name, and we'll have the city and the postcode. We don't need to set any conditions because we're pulling all of the records out of the database. And just for the sake of tidiness, let's sort that on the university name. Okay, we're going to save that. We've now set up a database query without dealing with any codes which will retrieve all of the records from the university database and for your information there's uh, about 300 records in that database. So what do we do now? We've got to now connect that through to a web page. 
So now we're going to go over to uh, File Manager. As we did before, I'm just going to create a folder here because this is going to be the admin section of the website. And within the admin folder, I'm going to create a file. And we're going to call that university.php. I tend to use PHP extensions for everything because this, this is a dynamic website and I do occasionally need to embed some PHP code. So let's op open that file. Nothing much happens initially, of course. What we need to do, first of all, is go over here to Add Framework. And we need to add the all-important App Connect Framework. And we need to add the Bootstrap 4 Framework, which, of course, in then includes the jQuery as well. Still nothing on the screen, because all we've done is we've added a few uh, server-side server includes, effectively. We do have a code view. If you want to see what we've got, that's what we've got code-wise. I'm going to give the app an ID. Um, I'm just going to call it Uni. I'm going to give it a, a page a title. Universities. And let's just save that now. Right, so where do we go from here? Well, first thing to do is we actually need to connect our App Connect web page through to our server connect connection and that's fairly straightforward we're going to right click i'm going to go down to database connections we're going to have a server connect let's call this unis again i'm going to select the server action and we'll see there we've got the all unis query that we created earlier listed. Click select, and that's it. Simple as that. We've connected our web page through to our database query. Just have a quick save. Now let's look at actually displaying the information on the page. So first thing I'm going to do is create a container. Within that container, I will create a row and then a column. You can move these items around just by dragging them. So I'm going to just drag that server connect up the top so it doesn't get in the way. We have a blank column here. And all we're going to do is drop in a bootstrap for table to list all of those database records that we've linked through to. So in the column, we're going to, so I'm just going to right click these buttons here or allow us to say insert before insert after or insert child in this case we're inserting a child we're going to go to a wonderful feature called the generator bootstrap generators allow us to create a table with literally a few few clicks of the mouse so i want a bootstrap for table we're going to populate it from that server connection that we created so that all you know all you need setting and there we can see the fields within that query just so it highlights a little better we'll we make it stripe we'll give it a border we'll be coming to sortable headers at a later date click ok and there we are how, how long have we taken now a matter of a few minutes eight eight minutes 54 seconds i make it we've actually got a beautifully formed and well presented bootstrap for table complaining 300 universities which have been pulled from a database and if we want to see what that looks like in the browser sorry this is a li little bit slow there with running on the local network but there we are we have a list of all of the universities ordered alphabetically on screen in a beautifully formed bootstrap table in the next module we'll be looking to enhance that what we're going to be looking at is to make these headers sortable we're going to be adding a search field in so we can actually search by text 
and then we'll also be looking at pagination so we can limit the size of the list to say 25 records or whatever we choose per page so they can be paged through so please do call back for lesson two um, it'll be coming shortly